Hello and welcome back to the Scrappery everyone. Today's layout features the Scrappery kit Sage and the Bits and Pieces kit Asha. I think this might be the first layout on this channel using this kit. I think our international DT was still waiting on it. Hopefully they've got it now and you'll be able to see some more videos featuring, featuring these lovely kits. I've seen a few of you have already got stuck into them and maybe you've used them up already I'm not sure but yeah I really love this kit I love the how neutral it is it's very gender neutral um, yeah so I had a lot of fun playing with this and I look forward to um, using it a little bit more because I have heaps left obviously because this is my first layout um, so yeah Hopefully I'll get another two done to you soon. So what I've done here is I've just cut out some starburst shapes, I guess you would call them, um, just out of the pattern paper. I think I used all of the pattern papers um, on this layout. Not all the patterns, but I used all the papers. Um, so I'm just marking the center, which was very easy with the ruler I had. Um, just so I have a point to line them up with and now I think I'm just playing around with what colors and patterns I like best um, I had a photo in mind at this point I hadn't printed it off but I knew exactly what photo I was going to use um, you'll see in a minute I'm, or maybe it doesn't show up as well on camera but the colors in the photos go really well with the colors in this kit um, I think it's navy and the pale pink and a little bit of black. It's a picture of me and my friends at the Borough Ball. So we got dressed up and like we met there. So we hadn't really like planned outfits and we ended up color coordinating quite well. Um, I had a pink skirt and a white top on. One of my friends had a pink dress which like matched perfectly with my skirt. And then another one of my friends had a navy crop top and white pants um, and then my other friend had like a white top and it had like a marbling which was like blue like navy blue and a blue skirt and we just I thought we like I was so happy like being someone who loves color and like scrapbooking and everything has to match I was yeah I was really excited about it um, this process is taking an awfully long time so I will not be offended if you want to skip ahead and um, when I've finally made a decision and I've stuck everything down. So I I think that's what I end up going with. Yeah. So we're almost done. Um, and before I pulled out the frame and the little heart and shape, they were from the Bits and Pieces kit. Um, it's the frame pack and... A little bit of ephemera from the Jen Hadfield collection, which is featured a bit in these kits from this month. So, while we wait for me to finish this, if you've been wondering where I was the last month, I was actually overseas. I went to Europe with my family for Christmas and we came back mid January. So, yeah, I couldn't really do much scrapbooking while I was over there. And I was, yeah, too busy to really get much done before I left. Um, I'm working full-time. I finished uni. I am a graphic designer now, and I work at a local business where I design stuff. So, yeah, that's a little Sophie's Life update for you guys. Um, if you're wondering, I'm not sure that you were. You probably are here to see the scrapbooking. Um... So I apologize. Um, so everything's stuck down now and I just trimmed off the excess with my trimmer. I don't think I did a very good job. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm now pulling in some other little bits and pieces. So the frame, like I said before, is from the bits and pieces kit. Um, I thought this one... Uh, the, the other one was a bit too thick and especially with the stripes it was just too much um, and I didn't want to bring any of that mint color in I just wanted to keep it with the pink and the navy and gold and black so I went with that white one 
Um, so now I'm just playing around with a few bits and pieces. I also included an arrow from the Cedar Lane um, collection with pink plate, pink paisley. Can't speak now. Um, pink paisley. My goodness. Um, and now I'm just adding some splatters with this ink. Um, I thought I would show you just in case you're wondering what ink I use. Um, I got this from an art shop in Bendigo and I use it for like brush script um, and splatters as well. It works great for, um, yeah, it stays really opaque and doesn't go clear or grey or anything. It's like really good. Um, so this is my photo. You can't really tell um, but yeah, my friends are both wearing like that dark color they're wearing is navy, which went really well with the pink. And as you can see, my friend has a pink dress on. We're a little bit crazy in this photo, um, but yeah, I thought it was quite cute, so I used this one. Um, and if you guys were wondering before what the Borough Ball is, um, it's just the footy club's end of year presentation night um, function thing and where the burrows, the Minyamatoa burrows, kookaburras, which is an Australian bird if you've never heard of it. Um, so that's why it's called the burra ball. Um, yeah, so now I'm just adding a few more little things behind my photo. The leaf is from the ephemera pack in the scrap kit and the other two are from the Jen Hatfield ephemera um, and the arrow I think uh, there's there was another little packet of like cute little like tags and circles and stuff and I think that was from that um, so yeah and oh my goodness how out of focus is this I'm so sorry it's so hard to tell on the display on my camera if it's in focus or not that's why I put my hand down to like but I, I didn't put it right flat on the table so it's like not quite focused where it should be so my layout is blurry so I'm sorry if that's annoying but you can still see what's going on but I don't know it, it's annoying me um so I'm sorry about that um Before you would have seen me add a piece of vellum behind my photo as well. Um, I kept the layers quite minimal for this layout. Um, I also added doily right here. <gasps> that was perfect timing. Um, so as you can see they're very neutral and white and not, not much going on behind there. So I'm just sticking everything down. And I also added a little circle and bracket up um, under that striped paper, which I missed. And I'm sorry. Um, I also am adding a little pink tab um, because I did think it needed a little bit more color um, around the photo. So I th I'm pretty sure this was from the Bits and Pieces kit. Um, cause I feel like that's something you'd use in project life, right? All those little pieces. So it must've been the bits of pieces kit. Um, because I don't get the, um, PLK. I did think about starting project life this year, but I don't think that's going to happen. I just don't know what I'd fill the week in with. Like, yeah. And then I'd fall behind and then... I would have bought all this stuff. Actually, I just did purchase not long ago two core kits um, because they were like an amazing deal. They were like $25 from 40 they were down to 25 I think, and then they were like half price again, so they were like $12.50 each or something. Like, I just had to get them because I really wanted them. Anyway, um, this is September Skies and the Find and Dandy. So I'm sure I'll find a use for them in some way. <laughs> now I decided to add some of the Heidi Swap. I don't even know what they are. They're like stickers. 
but they're not, are they puffy? I don't remember. Um, but this kit had a lot of different products from a lot of different manufacturers, which was nice to mix and match. Um, so I just added some around my photo there, as you can see. And now I just decided my photo like needed to be accented a bit more. Um, so I put some thread just underneath it. I just cut it off of a little spool and just arranged it underneath my photo. Also put some foam dots, um, which I think helped a lot. I really, I need dimension. I need my photo to be off the page, I think. Um, cause when everything like lays flat, it's a bit, I don't know, two dimensional for me. I like, like a little bit of interest. Um, so now I'm just adding some more of those little high swap embellishments. Um, now I'm putting down some of the glitter shapes from the thickers, uh, which you can see there. And what I loved about these is on the top they have glitter, but they're made from pink foam. So when you look at them from the side, they still look pretty. So I thought that was really cute, and it went well with this um, layout. Um, so now I'm just adding a few more extra pieces, a bit more gold, um, because this layout needed more gold on it apparently um and I wanted to add this piece on to because it was navy and I thought needed a little bit more navy on um this layout so I just cut that kind of looked like a Christmas tree like tilted on the side don't you reckon it was kind of annoying me a little bit but um I just stapled that down there um, now I'm just adding a paper strip. Oh, first I am um, sticking down my arrow with some hot glue because I didn't know what, how else to um, attach it. So put that and I didn't end up using the brag because I just thought it was too much stripes and too much going on I thought. I thought it was embellished enough. So I just finished by adding a couple of strips of paper to the bottom of the layout. But as you can see, I'm just playing around with a few different options first. I cut that pink um, strip off the um, the barcode strip. It was. Um, I don't remember which paper, but you'll find it there. Um, and yeah, finally made my decision and I'm sticking it down just with my roller tape and I have a feeling oh I'm just adding a little bit of journaling just so if I forget um I know where um and when this was photo was taken and um that is everything done I hope you guys enjoyed this layout if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because why not um so I'll talk to you guys next time bye